Hey everybody and welcome back to Marvel Champions Experience. Remember, please consider liking the video and if you truly enjoy the content that you are watching, please think about subscribing. And as always, drop a message down in the comments below whether you liked what you saw, whether you hated what you saw, especially if I made a mistake. Make lots of mistakes, love to get them fixed, right? And I just love, uh, you know, having some good conversation with you all in the comments. So <clears throat> this is Marvel Champions Experience version 2.0, AKA expert mode. And I don't actually know the order that I'm posting these videos in, but um, in my mind, two fights ago, you saw Spider. And I think that was only like the third or fourth time I've used her, probably third. And I wanna go back to the well with her. So I'm sorry that you're seeing her again, but I really enjoyed using her. And I figured we might as well keep it a little bit thematic. So we're going to go against Mysterio. All right. <clears throat> so I think my allergies are bothered me, which is why I'm going to be like <clears throat> in a bunch. But all right. So we're going against Mysterio Expert. I've only played him a couple times, but the deck that I'm going to be using is the same deck that you saw me using a couple fights ago. So it's my Justice deck. So let's go ahead and get this all shuffled up first. I hope everybody's having a good day. I am currently on spring break from my job. So I've got full two weeks off. And again, I don't know when you're seeing this, but I'm planning on posting a, oh, you know what, we're just gonna keep, I usually pause it in case I lose, but whatever, I'm not gonna, we're just gonna play it through. So hopefully I win. And i um, planning on posting my video of me ranking all the heroes soon. So I gotta get, I gotta get, doing that i'll have to reshuffle again anyway because he's gonna make me do it so i'll probably pause anyway so let's here goes our setup so i got the regular stuff in here for him put a shifting apparition min minion minion into play engage with me okay then well this is a force interrupt when i would draw one but this on reveal so let me shuffle his deck in player order shuffle the top card of the encounter deck into each player's deck. So actually, no, let me pause the video right now so we can all do that in one foul swoop. So there we go, pause the video. Well, I lost, so we're gonna try that again. Yeah. You wanna talk about <clears throat> bad RNG? I got the world's worst bad RNG on that last game. I've never, ever, had worse luck in that last game. Honestly, close to probably any game I've ever played. It was ridiculous what happened in that last game. He like made me discard my hand like twice, which wiped and I was holding all of my upgrades. Um I didn't even get him past first the first phase. So we're trying again <clears throat> and I'm chalking that up to Awful, awful, just luck of the draw. So I like crawled back as much as I could, but uh, he beat me. He like activated twice. It was rough. All right. So <clears throat> you didn't see that, but we're starting over. So this says put a shifting apparition to play, which it is. And <clears throat> excuse me, I have some allergies. All right. So I need to shuffle the top card of my okay i should have shuffled beforehand but so we need to shuffle the top card of the encounter deck into my deck so we'll have that at some point in the game i'm tired i'm sorry i got an awful night's sleep last night so wish i would have won that last game i had all the energy for that one all right so i have to remember to do this i was forgetting a little bit when resolving a boost card um, if it's an illusion, put it on the bottom of my deck. I remember to do that. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> We're drawing four. One, two, three, four. What do we got? All right, at least we got our host spider. Uh, I'm going to play that. Uh, what are we really going to do? I think the first thing we're going to do is... Well, we have Host Spider, so we can draw some cards. So let's exhaust and draw two cards. All right. <clears throat> so 
exhaust alter ego. So we're going to do that. We're going to exhaust Penny Parker, uh, play meditation to get out our host spider. Then what are we going to do? You know, I could get out the sonic rifle and then save that web trap for the following turn. I don't hate that. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna do that. We are going to spend Spider-Man and strength to get out our sonic rifle. Yeah, I don't mind that move. And this is going to have two chargers on it. We are definitely gonna flip, right? We're we gonna flip, yeah. I like did the math on the last game <clears throat> and that'll go to three. Maybe he gets a two. That's just dirty. It's just like, yeah, you don't want, we don't want that right now. So I still have the host. Well, let's confuse him. Oh, right. I have my confused cards now. I'm no longer using the dice. So he's confused. I might as well put the web, the uh, host spider to use. <coughs> Excuse me. And what should we do? I don't want to do this just yet. Let's let him stay for a second. We want to damage or, you know what? Let's remove threat. Let's get that a little bit under control. It's still fairly early. And we're done. So we're going to draw three cards. Up to three. Interesting. I might still have to hold on this web trap because, I don't know, I'll think about it. All right, we're readying up. One's gonna go here. You're going to attack. I just wanna make sure I read that. Um, you're going to attack and I'm gonna take it, it's still early in the game. So you're hitting for two plus two is four and that is not an illusion. Um, and that's five, so I'm taking five damage. But I can safely flip if I wanted to to heal, which I might do because he's confused. Here comes our encounter card, attached to Mysterio. When you would deal any amount of damage to Mysterio, discard the top four cards of your deck instead. Discard this card. Boo. All right, I mean, I don't have to worry about that just yet because he's confused, but I don't like that, which means I don't think I want to play this web trap just yet. So let us, <coughs> excuse me. Let us build up a bit before I start discarding my hand. So we're going to spend our energy to get out our psychic link. And we will attack the shifting apparition. Oh, I couldn't do anything anyway because he's got guard. I didn't realize that. So when this was defeated with excess damage, shuffles the top card of the encounter into my deck. <sighs> Mysterio is definitely... I don't know. I thought it was a lot easier before, but anywho, this is gone. Um, oh, I think I know what we could do. Maybe we take advantage of the ready. Well, let's ready, right? And let's thwart. I'm not ready to, to discard my cards yet, so this will come off. I mean, I could also draw. I could also use this to draw cards, as in, like, I'm readied right now. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm readied. I'm going to flip. And I'm going to heal for four. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to draw two cards. That doesn't completely help me, but <coughs> it's not the worst. I mean, it's great to have these. I just don't know how to play them. All right, we're gonna ready up. We're done with our turn. We're gonna draw one more card to bring our hand to four. 
Okay. And then I could still draw some more cards. All right. I'm feeling okay about this hand. We're going to go that to two. You don't scheme because you're confused. And here comes our encounter card. You know what? I don't hate this card. Okay. I actually got that card in the last game. It is difficult to deal with, but for Spider, oh man, this is a great card to actually have. So this has six thread on it, right? Which is a lot to deal with. But when I defeat this, I get plus two hand size. So that's going to be really good for Spider. And I need to figure out how I'm going to take care of that in this round. Because I would really like that to be gone. So I don't have to deal with an extra encounter card. So I'm thinking of probably maybe playing clear the area, right? Yeah, I think that would work. So I think all I need to do is play a clear the area for the most part. Let's see. So, hmm. Because this is going to give me plus two thwart. That's going to make my thwart four. This will remove two. Or, actually, another thing I could do is I could thwart for four ready right i could ready thwart for the other two right um oh, but the, that deals any damage so i can't even play my web trap just yet because i don't want it wouldn't deal five damage so but maybe i could do something else Let's see. So if I flipped, thwarted. What if I what if I draw two, drew two cards, right? Readied myself. If I drew two cards right now and I readied myself on the flip, that would be four. This could still remove all the threat there. Plus, I'd be holding two cards and an extra card, I might be able to do something. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to draw two cards. Okay, I'm holding all of my tech upgrades for the most part, which is great. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna play them. Do I wanna heal? I don't think she can actually do anything if I don't heal. It might be a waste if I'm not, yeah. So we'll exhaust her to heal to full. Now we're gonna flip. <clears throat> um, he might have cards that make me discard like um, an upgrade so I'm going to hold on to this Sonic Rifle because that's the one I would, would want to discard alright so now we're going to ready now we're going to exhaust this and thwart for 4 bringing this to 2 now we're going to where is it there it is clear the area so do I want to play turn the tide or limitless stamina. I don't think it actually matters, but just in case we're gonna. Hmm. I think we're gonna play limit. We're gonna play turn the tide. We gotta remove that right now. That's the goal. Um, let's use limitless stamina. We're going to use Limitless Stamina to remove all the threat. This will go in our victory display. Our hand size is bigger now by two. We're going to draw a card. Okay. And I was thinking about... <clears throat> I was thinking about playing Turn the Tide to remove that, but I might actually just want to get the metal, metal, metal alloy out. Um, I could get the spider command out, draw a card, ready, exhaust spider command, end an interface, or draw a card. Exhaust spider command, choose and discard one card from your hand, ready, interface. That's actually really good. But I'm going to get the speed metal, metal alloy out first. So we're going to discard, turn the tide for the speed metal. Oh, and I could still do that, right? So then we'll exhaust speed, speed metal alloy for a resource to bring out spider. And now we're done. 
Now we're done. We still have to deal with that in a few minutes, but so now we draw up to three plus two. So we're drawing a hand size of five. So that's three, four, and five. <coughs> we lose that. This is gonna go to three. He's going to attack and I might as well, I don't know, do I wanna defend? No, let's not defend. Let's not defend. So he'll hit me for two. Um, is this an illusion? Yeah, okay. Um, if an ally is defeated, which it wasn't. So this is gonna go to the bottom of my deck because it was an illusion. So he's hitting me for three. I have a lot of health, so I figured I might as well take it. Here comes our encounter card. Uh, treat ally, treat attached ally as minion. Uh, this gains surge because I don't have an ally. He schemes. So he's scheming for a three. Um, oh my god, that's going to flip. Jesus Christ. Okay, so he's scheming for three, four, five, six. And this was an illusion, so it goes to the bottom of my deck. So he's scheming for six, which flips the freaking main scheme which is absurd. Okay, so shuffle the top two cards of the encounter deck into each player's deck, which kind of sucks because now we have to shuffle those in and the, uh, the encounter cards that were at the bottom now could be freaking anywhere. Okay, I think I need to apologize to the majority of these villains because they're freaking hard. Okay, I mean, in the Sinister Motives, um, in the Sinister Motives campaign. All right, I'd love to get Web of Life and Destiny out, but I'm in direish, direish ish straits i could play the rapid deployment but i don't know if i need to i think i might actually need to start getting another sonic rifle out but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attack him we're discarding the top two cards so we lost in all systems go which really sucks um Oh, sorry, discard the top four cards. Okay. And then we discard this card. Now, we're going to ready. Uh, we're going to, what are we gonna do? I'd like to get the wet the compressor out. So we're going to exhaust the alloy and we're going to exhaust the psychic link. That's two. Nope, just one because I want to save one for the web trap. And then we'll spend the sonic rifle. I don't like that move, but I think I should do it. Could do rapid deployment as well. No, we're going to save that in case I get um one way or another. So yeah, I'm going to do, exhaust those two and bring in the web fluid compressor. Sorry, I'm just getting myself a little comfortable. Then we are going to exhaust the web fluid compressor and attack. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So that is a plus two. That's a four attack. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to spend the Web of Life and Destiny. I don't like doing that, but I'm I'm worried, to tell you the truth. So I want to kind of like move this along. So we're going to use the Psychic Link and spend Web of Life and Destiny. I don't know, man. It's a really good card to get rid of. Um, the rapid deployment maybe instead. Yeah, let's do that. 
We're going to spend rapid deployment and use the psychic link for a web trap. Okay. So that's five damage to him and we're going to stun him. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to play out, play down this web of destiny, web of life and destiny. And he's not confused anymore, but we could confuse him right now. Let's stay here. Let's stay here. Or no, you know what? Maybe we do flip and draw some extra cards. Actually, I don't want to because I'm not trying to draw those other cards yet that are his cards. All right, so we're drawing up to five, right? So that's three plus two, that's four. And I see a sea of red coming and I'm not happy about that. Okay, not the worst hand. All right, so this is gonna go to four. You're stunned. And here comes our encounter card. <clears throat> okay, you can't read any allies or persona supports you control. Which one of these is a persona support? None of them. So I just can't ready an ally, which means Ghost Spider is a little useless. Um, so Spider-Man, but I still might want to get him out actually, because he can ready a tech upgrade and let me draw a card. This is going to remove three threat. I didn't get, I haven't pulled any one way or another yet. Um, ready each interface upgrade you control. Yeah, I think I definitely want to do that. I'm also interested in the rapid deployment. Um, <coughs> I think, hmm. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're going to actually, I think we are gonna get auto out. Um, none of these need to use, yeah, this one can remove a three additional threat. Let's, let's exhaust speed metal alloy and use Ghost Spider to pay for Otto. So Otto's gonna come in and he's got two health. He comes in, he's gonna ready a tech upgrade and I draw a card. There's one way or another. But I actually don't wanna play it because um, I don't want to draw a lot of these cards just yet and they'll be coming up. So you are going to thwart for one, bringing this to three. Then we're going to discard you to get rid of this, right? But since he left play, I can draw a card. <coughs> and these are all still readied. Um, I think it makes sense to play the rapid deployment instead of clear the area because that's not going to work completely. All right, so we're going to use speed metal alloy and clear the area to play rapid deployment to remove all the threat from here. Now we're going to um, exhaust the web fluid compressor and attack for four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to <coughs> um, exhaust host spider to ready, attack again for two. Then we're going to, good, that's still here. Then we're going to play, use one way or another to pay for limitless stamina to ready and attack for two and that flips him. All right, discard the top five cards of each player's deck. Oh, I have a feeling one, two, all right. When you would discard, okay. 
but I also draw a card. Okay, so I get to draw a card because of this. That's one, two, three, four, five are discarded, but I draw a card. <coughs> okay. Um, so he's flipped with 16 health. Wait a second. It's his form... It's weird. Form 2 has more health than Form 3. All right. All right. So we're still going. And we're going to exhaust Psychic Link to pay for all systems go. And we're going to ready each interface that we control. Um, then we are going to... Exhaust the wet fluid compressor and attack for four. One, two, three, four. Then we are going to exhaust the host spider to ready and attack for two. One, two. Then we're going to exhaust spider command and discard this card to ready a card, to ready an interface. So I'm gonna ready host spider and I'll exhaust it to attack again for two. One, two. That was a crazy turn. Um, and I am going to use this sonic rifle to confuse him. And I'm gonna flip. And I'm going to heal for four. Now that was a fantastic turn, but let's see what he's going to do to us now. Because I have a feeling we're going to be grabbing a metric crap load of encounter cards. Okay, so I need to draw six cards. Right? That's four plus the two from the other thing. And I already see, here they come. So that's one, two, three four, five, six. And then I have to draw four cards because of this, right? <coughs> yep, so I draw four more cards. So one, two, three, four. And here is the other one. So I draw another one. So this should be six cards. One, two, three, four, five. That's one too many. So I'm actually, I don't get that one. I should be holding six cards. I've never in my life seen so many encounter cards that I'm gonna have to deal with. Um, it's like I'm playing Star-Lord. Yes, I'm very worried. <laughs> All right, this is gonna go to one. You don't scheme because you're confused, but let's see how you somehow win this game right now with eight encounter cards, I think. And I have nothing really here to fix that. So if we can survive this, we can win. But if we can survive, is a, well, there's a guard. So we have a guard minion. <coughs> Attach to your identity. Um, discard an ally. Why are these all like upside down and stuff? I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Attached to Mysterio. Attached to Mysterio. Uh, Alter Ego, so he gains Surge. Attached to your identity. I'm just laying them... Maybe I should take a, a second to like, I was gonna lay them out first and then see it, but there's a lot. So, okay, he's got plus three attack with this one. Spend one resource of any type and shovel the top two cards of the encounter deck into your deck and discard this card. All right, we're gonna live with that. When you would take any deal any amount of damage to Mysterio, discard the top four cards of your deck instead. So this is the shield. This is the ally one. <clears throat> you cannot resolve the printed, the printed, you cannot resolve triggered abilities in your hero's printed text box. Okay. 
Discard one identity specific card at random from your hand and discard this card. Okay, well that sucks. Um, got it. When revealed, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and set aside area for your nemesis side scheme and reveal it. <coughs> so I have this to the side. Um, as, as an additional cost to thwart this scheme, you must spend a resource and it has crisis. Um, but this has X additional threat here where X is equal to the amount of threat on this. So there's four here and there's, so there's five here and there's four on this one. All right. Um, and here's the last one. Discard cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of cards in your hand. So I'm holding six. I know that for a fact. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and now we need to discard six cards. Here's one. But why is my card here? What is this? I don't know why that got shuffled into there. Um, I get an extra encounter card for the next turn. Not now, because this is the last encounter card. Um... That's why I picked that up, to give myself the other encounter card. Um, but this is one card I'm discarding. Shuffling my deck. Um, so I need to discard six. So two, three, there's that one, four, five, and six. So we did discard at least one identity specific card and I place one threat on the main scheme. Oh God, that was the most ever. Okay, but I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna be fine. Um, I actually want to get rid of that, so. Uh, discard one identity-specific card from your hand at random. Here are all my identity-specific cards. All systems go. Probably the best card I had. Or one of them. Venom is another good one. So this is gone. Okay. This is gone. I put the threat in the main scheme. I have a guard minion here. Extra boost icon. Crisis shield okay so the first thing we're going to do is i don't want to draw cards because i can win with this hand but i need to do it carefully so especially since i don't have the all systems go we're gonna flip right i'm thinking um uh, maybe i do want to draw the cards that could ready yeah, I am going to draw two cards. Nice. Good choice, Rick. Okay. So now we're going to flip. And we're going to use Host Spider to ready myself. Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Then we're going to exhaust a Web Warrior card you control. We're going to exhaust Web of Life and Destiny. Web Warrior card. And then we are going to... Oh, I need to pay two cards. Dumb, Rick. So that's one. And then we'll use the Psychic Link. Because I'm going to be paying... I'm going to be using all systems to go in a minute. And we're going to bring back Spider-Man. Put him into play. <coughs> and he's got three health. And Spider-Man is going to attack for two. But I can't ready him because of this. Oh, actually, pause. We're not going to attack for two just yet. Um, so he'll come in with three. Uh, Spider will attack for two, but this gets off instead. We discard the top four cards of my deck. One, two, three, and four. I should have showed you this before. I'm sorry. Uh, but this is this is that's gone now. Now we'll attack for two with Spider Man who will then ready spider, right? Um, 
and then we'll exhaust the wet fluid compressor to attack for four. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, we got to swing a bunch of these back. I don't remember what um, I just did. So the first thing that actually happens is I attacked him with that. Then I attacked this. So he had eight health. Okay. Um, Spider-Man has to attack the shifting apparition first because he's got guard. Um, and it was defeated with excess damage. So we shuffle the top card this into my encounter deck. I'll do that in a second. But then you ready. Okay. I'll do that in a second. So now we'll swing for four. One, two, three, four. Oh God, I have to like leave in like seconds. Luckily this is about to be over. Okay. And just because I have to leave in a minute, um, I'm going to use ejection protocol to pay for all systems go, readying all of my tech upgrades or my interfaces, and then web fluid, com oh, host spider to ready me, web fluid compressor, and attacking for four. Redemption from my fight from yesterday, but that was a crazy fight, guys. Wow. Man, Expert Mysterio, no joke, no joke. Most of these Expert fights are no joke. Damn, I think I played that fairly correctly as well. That last 500 um, uh, encounter cards that I had to deal with was something I don't think I've ever seen before or had to have dealt with. I'm not even kidding. And I... What I was wild. I was wild. I, you know, I don't really love Star Lord, basically for that exact reason. But, you know, we we were able to survive it. We were able to survive it, and, you know, one of the reasons I think we were able to survive it, especially she's so strong, right? And that's why her hand size is so limited. And Fool's Paradise, man, this card. Like, this this won us the game, you know? So, that this, this really just makes her so strong because she can, you know, flip and draw two cards and use these cards to pay for other cards, which is why her hand size is so low because you don't need the resources in your hand to pay for cards. And just giving us more of a hand with this, wild. Wild. But, all right, there you go. There is Expert Mysterio in the book. Put him in the books. And uh, I think we're done with Spider, but I liked her. I might give her, I think I'm going to give her one more go. I'll take a break. I'm going to do, my next match will probably be again with Wolverine. I know you're seeing them back to back, but these are two heroes that I haven't had a chance to really <coughs> get into. And before I, you know, move on to the super, 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 super hard villains, I'd like to get them in there and just, you know, mess around with them. So thank you everybody for watching. Take care.